What are going on everybody? Today is part two. We're in Muffy's kitchen. I'm about to check out some of the stew octopus, stew conk, and stew squid. Also going to check out some of that freshly caught kingfish, freshly caught barracuda. <laughs> Sea cat. So yeah, yeah, the sea cat. Sea cat. Yeah, man. So you season right. the pot so already. Squid. All right, squid. Yeah, man. All right, conk. Sea cat, conk, and squid. All right. So basically, when you're done with all this water, when you're done cook, you can drink it near broth. Yeah. All right. Sea cat, conk, and squid broth. So now like you want to add to the population. Rice right, and cheese are cooked up and bubble up. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Well seasoned. That's the kingfish that's him just slice up. You can see how that meat is fresh. It has not been imported. This is straight out of our Caribbean Sea. Good man. And it's time to cook with regular rice, long grain, parboil or anything. A jasmine rice you used to. Yeah, man. A natural coconut milk. Natural coconut milk. Yeah. yeah, man, the smell is amazing. And you have pimento in there as well. Yeah. Pimento berries. And you have thyme, that scotch bonnet for flavor. And everything is done to add. I'm literally just doing this because somebody ordered rice. After your special seasoning. Yeah, man. So that's your proprietary blend that you just sprinkling on. I've generously seasoned the fish, you know, and the fish this fresh. Put the salt and pepper on it or your seasoning blend and bring out the flavor, put it in the fryer and then it nice after that. Not after the kingfish. No. Oh, the sea cat ready. Sea cat ready. Come ready. And the squid ready. Right, everything in Everything ready. 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 Now we're going to try the broth then. So the broth off of this, which is the sea cat, the conch, and the squid. The beautiful thing about coming to a seaside like this is the freshness of everything. Everything is straight from the sea, straight from the fisherman and straight in here. Muffy says sometimes he fishes as well, but you can look at that barra meat and also that kingfish meat. That kingfish could have been used for sashimi cuts. That's how fresh and how good that meat looks. Just a nice white slices. The grain looked amazing. Everything looked so fresh and so delicate. Like you could just Get a little ginger, get a little soy sauce, mix that up and splash a little of that meat in and just thinly slice it and it would be that good. That's how fresh the meat is coming in here and that's what everything that has been coming into the kitchen has been. Everything has been fresh, everything has been basically from sea to table experience. Respect. So this is that broth, hot and rotted of that conch, squid and sea cat. Wow. You have the taste of the peas, but then you have all of that seafood flavor in there. It's hot and rotted. Mm, just scratch my tongue. Definitely just scratch my tongue. But yeah, just scratch my tongue. The sea cat broth, it's... You have that flavor of the sea cat, the color as well. A little bit of that, you know, the sea cat brings out that color of a reddish, pinkish type color. Sometimes purple when you boil it out. And then you have the squid and the conch of added flavor. Very nice, hot and ratty, just bon appetit. In Jamaica, you sweat and you still drink soup, so the sea cat broth with the conch and the squid in there. Oh man, 
that have a whole heap of flavor in there, others, and I take a sip of, of that. He called me and said, the rice and peas ready. That, my friend, will help to regenerate and regrow or to spread the population of Jamaica because them thing that things what Jamaican man talk about when them put whole heap of things into a pot to make it more powerful, make it more stronger, to straighten up the back. That one I go straight to my back. And then the rice and peas ready, steam out and everything. Cook right down and that's jasmine rice that's in there. It's not your long grain rice or your parboiled rice that you use that has straight jasmine rice. Fluffy and nice, make it one steam down so that when we get it out of the pot, it's nice and still have that steam on it. Natural coconut, natural ingredients, fresh ingredients that came from the market this morning. The scallion, the thyme, the peppers, everything, as I said, when I called Muffy this morning, he was at the market getting fresh ingredients to come in here. And most of those fresh ingredients have been used in everything that's been cooked so far. Everything that's not been cooked so far is in the conch salad and stuff as well. And then anything that's going on after that is everything fresh. As I said, the market is just a stone throw from here. That's Charles Garden Market. And we're here at River Bay Fishing Village down here in Montego Bay. Look at that golden complexion and that. Yeah, barracuda. So as one set go out, one set go in. So that kingfish is done and the barra goes in. Very similar meats. I think the, the barra to me is a sweeter meat. A lot of islands don't eat barracuda. They say that it's poisonous. But a whole heap of things them say poisonous when they say they even have <laughs> well, yeah, the video. Yeah. 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 You can smell the vinegar, the escovitch coming mm -hmm. off of it, you the peppers, the onion, and little pimento in there. Careful with the soup, you know. You'll have kids. I'm just dicing up some of that now to make that stew. That's a piece of conch. You can tell how soft it's gotten after that pressure. Still steaming. Want me in a hot? Mm -hmm. Are you used to it? Yeah. It's the same broth that you make, that you use and make a sauce with, and then you mix up some stuff. Um, natural seasonings sweet with pepper, red sweet pepper, scallion, and thyme, garlic. Yeah, Everything mixed Everything. up in there, natural seasonings to go down into that stew. Now you had a little potato, potato cooking in there before, carrot, and carrot, and yeah, thyme. thyme right. Yeah, man, it smells so absolutely add... amazing. You have that seafood smell coming out. And once you put that in there, you basically just let red, that yeah. one, one soak That's and it. cook down till it thicken up a little bit. Look how beautiful the colours are of that part. And you're getting that smell of just seafood, fresh seafood just climbing through the nuts tree. With all of that fresh seasoning, there goes the thyme, the smell of the thyme. The aromatics are just on fire. Yeah, man. See, we know, um, give people whole dumpling to eat. We just cut it up. Cut it up. Yeah, and I have nothing big there going in anymore. Yeah, man, I had food, man. This is good. See, you know, I have to go in a hotel to get them food. Yeah. Let me tell you something. And this First better of all, food you can't you know. find them food there in the hotel. <laughs> This is a food, this is not hotel food, this is a seaside fresh food, Jamaican food with natural seasoning that come from right All over right. the market where we get from few people who are imported and brought right here to the seaside. Yeah, must be said. This is not a tourist menu, this is not a hotel thing. A Jamaican thing. 
Jamaican, so Jamaican that we steam the rice with a plastic bag. So I forgot, and the smell, G's and P's, the coconut. So, so if you look on the rice, they're not married together, then no, they're, they're they, Lego. Yeah, man. I yeah, said, so they're not married, they're free. They're free. Yo, I mean, I have forgot to taste some of that rice for my man as well. I want the rice and I want the banana dumpling in for me. Small piece of rice. Well, good. Yeah, man, I want to try this banana dumpling, yeah? And some of that, that coconut smelling rice. I mean, you know, you think so rice people start use the coconut milk because the powdered coconut is here, but thank God we will pull some sort of the tradition with the rice and peas and coconut milk that's come from our coconut tree. Sauce. <laughs> all right, it's not gravy, it's sauce. All right, all right, all right. All right. Where is it that good for you? And piece of the barra. The barra, yes, sir. But it's in the one that my face looks bigger than the rest, but I swear it Beautiful. The octopus, the punk, and the squid. Rice and peas right here. You have the fried kingfish, fried bara, and then you have the then you have the banana dumpling. That's a banana dumpling right here. This has the banana in it that we saw him grate up earlier. And this is something I'm looking forward to, to try with everything else as well. But what? What a food. This monstrosity of food. Look at this, how lovely this plate is. I mean, you have the stewed on octopus, you have the stewed on conch with that, you have squid with it. You also have thyme that's on it that's been cooked down in those fresh seasonings that came from the market today. The fresh fish that could have been used, well, the kingfish could have been used as basically sashimi, how fresh that meat looked. And then you have the barracuda, of course. All of this is actually fresh. And then you have a piece of banana that's in the grate out the banana and put it in flour and then boil it out. So you have banana dumpling with natural rice and peas. Everybody on the day. get a nice plate. into the nitty gritty with my hand. This is the barracuda, that fresh barra meat. A lot of people, a lot of other countries don't eat barra. I mean, Bahamas, they call them barry. I went fishing out there once and they wanted to throw them back. I said, yo, me eat barracuda, do not dash all of them back. I will eat one. This is a fresh one that was caught right out here, brought in and then fried. Nothing, I mean, barracuda is one of the sweetest meats that I think you can find. People don't appreciate it because they say it can poison you. But once you put it down, the ants don't take it, it's good to go. Don't follow that, I'll put a disclaimer. Oh my God. Mm. So moist, so tender, sweet, flaky, juicy. It's not supposed to be this juicy and sweet. I mean, it's so fresh that all you need is a little bit of salt and pepper on it and you'll be good either way. That's how fresh this barra is. 
the skin as well gets a nice crunch. Some people don't they flake up the, the, the scales a little to give it extra crunch, but this one has been scaled and deboned and not deboned, scaled and cleaned very nice. That white meat in there, I don't know why people scared of it. Well, it's because of the poison, but very nice, very tasty, very satisfying. The kingfish, I don't know if I wasn't recording a while ago, but I'm doing it over again because this kingfish, that's not even the kingfish, that's the barrow. This kingfish, the meat is so clean and fresh. Mm. It's not as sweet as a barracuda. It's more flaky, a little more dry. But it's very fresh and you can tell how it just breaks apart from everything and becomes like it's it's really, really good and tender meat in there. Flaky fish meat that's fresh and just hangs off. And some of that natural rice and peas to go with the fish. Mm. Getting a holy for that natural coconut milk in. Nothing flavor profile is exactly what you're looking for. It's not over salted, it's not overcrowded with powder seasoning or anything in there. It's just natural rice and peas that's cooked down. It's so lovely with that natural coconut milk and the, the natural fresh herbs that came right over there from the market this morning cooked down in it with the coconut milk, just bringing out, exhuming with flavor. Mm, yeah, man. I think it's time to try some of this. Let's go in, that is. Mm, let's see if we can tell what is what. That is a piece of squid and a piece of conk that is on that, and that flavor is good. Yeah, bite it. Little bit of everything. Mm. This is that banana dumpling. That dumpling. Dumpling. Mm -mm. Good food make you sweat, I tell you all the time. But that flavor of the banana and the dumpling, the accent and the normal. Mm. I've had coconut in dumpling, I've had some banana, but this banana does have a flavor that really, really pronounced and really, really good. I think I like banana porridge. It's a little sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's just perfect for me with a banana porridge. Yeah. And everything going on in there. Mix that up with rice and peas, the fried fish, the escovitch sauce. Some, you know I'm a mixer. Some of everything that goes in the plate. Pronounced flavors, natural flavors, natural seasonings, fresh ingredients, fresh fish, fresh seafood ingredients, fresh barracuda, fresh kingfish, fresh conk fresh sea cat, fresh squid, and then the things, the natural ingredients that come from the market right there, the banana in the, in, in the dumpling, just a very nice, cool vibes, cool experience to have down here at the seaside, at River Bay, at Murphy's, and River Bay Seaside, yeah man, River Bay Fishing Village, all right, but cheers. Really good. Really, really, really exciting flavors coming out of this kitchen. Really, really natural ingredients being used and just taking the time to perfect the art and put out something that's very satisfying, very tasty and very palatable. I must say, nice experience. I had to come outside, come catch my breath. That was very, very satisfying as I love our seafood and I love our, our things fresh. All products that are Jamaican and basically have a Jamaican footprint or handprint on most of the ingredients that are in there. Big up to Muffy, big up to the seaside here at River Bay Seaside. And as I tell you all the time, support your local industry, support your local fishermen, support your local farmers, support your local restaurateurs, your chefs. Everybody get out there, enjoy the food that we have in Jamaica because there's a lot out there to discover. There's a lot out there to have. And until next time, Big up everybody. One love. Bless. They said the number for reach me at 
Four five five seven five three five. Four five five seven, seven five three five. Right. And that's how you get Muffy. And remember, Muffy do things done to order. So call and find out what him have for the day. Everything is fresh. Everything is cooked right here, straight from the sea. Or any other things that you might want. Even Aki and Safi Shim have on them thing there as well. I will remind you that when you come to Muffy's though, it's not where he has things ready. Everything is basically cooked to order. You have to order what you want and you wait. But there can be a little wait because there's good stuff going on in there. There's food going out, people that call and order. I encourage you to call and order before. Call and see what he has. Or come down and be willing to spend a little time with Muffy, but enjoy the live open cooking and the atmospheres. Really nice spirit, really nice vibes down there so at the seaside. <laughs>